Good morning, it's a gorgeous day here in Constance and I've got a video that I'm really excited about because this is the first time since we were in Colombia. Yeah, this is the first time since Colombia that I'm doing a video going to somewhere that I've never been before. So I'm showing you a place today. This is my first time going there as well. You know, like the good old days on this channel. I'll explain a bit more in a sec, but first, there's nothing like a trip to Lidl to make an English person feel at home. I got some dates and I got a pretzel. And we're off on the road to... I'm just going to say Reichenau for the rest of this video, like the English clown that I am. Right, this is what I was looking for to start this video. So this train station I've been through a thousand times. This is the first time I've stopped here. And there's a path that goes all the way out to the Isle of Reichenau. It's this small island here. So this is what I'm walking over now. And so are a thousand cyclists in cars. So it's probably going to be really busy. So that's what we're doing today. We're walking over to an island. And hopefully reach the end and see some cool stuff along the way. You know, this is probably going to be the most realistic video I've ever made because the feeling of watching and listening to this video is probably the exact same feeling that I'm having right now which is, wow, that looks like a lovely, beautiful and peaceful place to go for a walk. If you could hear yourself think over the sound of people whizzing past in cars at a thousand miles an hour for no reason. But anyway, stop your complaining. You're outside, the sun's shining, <laughs> quit your moaning. Let me tell you the whole reason that I'm so excited to come here. If you've seen my video two videos ago, then you've seen these trees before. From a very different angle and from a very different distance, the, uh, yeah, so that's sort, sort of an island. It's connected by road. You can sort of see the bit where you can drive over here. Where that tree line is. In fact, you've actually seen them from that town over there. That's where we used to live. We lived in that town we lived in that town for six months and every single day, sometimes multiple times a day, we would end up by the side of the lake looking over the lake and you can see across to Reichenau, the island that I'm going to today. pretending like I can read that. Thankfully, like the good little researcher boy that I am, I was reading about Reichenau this morning before coming here. And I know that once you get to the actual island, there's the ruins of an old castle that was once used to defend it. So I guess that's what this is. And I don't know if this is safe or open or public or anything, but I'm gonna see if I can go up here. Now I've said it out loud, it seems like it might be a bad idea. Actually, I just saw a step that looks like it's recently been repaired. So I think this probably is open and public. Well, that was fun. I don't think it's going to the top of anybody's list of castles you have to see while you're in Germany, but that was a really good view. I liked it. So Reichenau Insel, so island, it is an island, but I just walked to it. And look at this, we can turn off the road. <laughs> but anyway, the whole walking to an island thing. This did literally used to be an island. 
until in the 1800s they built that artificial uh, land bridge that I just walked over which means it's just yet another place in the world that has a fixed link and yes I said that just for the four people who are going to understand what that means it's not enough that I have jokes on this channel that will alienate anybody who's not from England now we're on to things that are only relevant if you come from the exact same part of England that I do on the south coast Oh boy, did I need that. I really needed that. And now I need there to be somewhere on this island that I can buy more water. I've been walking for ages since getting on this island and this whole side was all private gardens, private backyards, private whatever. No, no space to sit until I saw that bench and I nabbed it for myself. When everybody keeps being mean to you, So when we showed you the ferry in my other video, this is the exact place that it goes to. This is the exact same sign saying that it's not running, but on the opposite side. So if everything was normal when we moved here, we could have taken a boat trip over here. And maybe someday we will. I didn't expect to be able to go into that church. Somebody just sort of held the door open for me and I was like, oh, okay. And then suddenly I was in there. I'm glad that I now saw it in person, having seen it across the lake for so long. That holy hand sanitizer. I'm not really sure that it was hand sanitizer. I thought that it was and I took some and it did sort of evaporate when I rubbed my hands together but I don't know, it just smelled wrong. I hope I haven't offended anybody by taking some of whatever it was. It didn't smell like normal hand sanitizer. This has been such a good day. I'm almost, I'm virtually at that point, the far corner that I pointed to on the map earlier. I'm almost there now. I'm not pretending this time. It has English, so I can read it. 799. That is just amazing to me. And yeah, look at this. I thought I recognised that church as being the one in the very corner. Oh yeah, there's a You Are Here marker. So we've basically done it. It's been great. Let's go down to the lake and see the water.
so this is it. This is the far corner of the Isle of Reichenau, or at least as far as I think I can get. And this is the opposite view to the one that I've had this whole time. <laughs> Reichenau's been so gorgeous. You know, the only disappointment is that this whole coastline is all private gardens, so, so I can't really film anything and I can't really walk. Whereas on my side, you know, it's all a big private park private park it's all a big public park as you saw in my other videos so you know who's the real winner here but no it's been really nice <laughs> I think I I really needed this day out almost as much as I needed that pretzel earlier I really needed this this has been good fun <sighs> get to make a video and talk to you get some exercise and see a new place it's been amazing you know I'd love to keep walking and show you the other side of the island on the way back um, but I've got to save some things for future videos, you know. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you're doing really well. I can hear my voice weirdly echoing off this massive greenhouse in front of me, so I'm going to stop talking. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a good weekend, and I'll see you soon.